Hey, salutations to YouTube, it's Adrian here. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. I'm sitting in front of the Goodwill here in, I think we're in Garden Grove. I think that's where we are. Garden Grove, California. I'm super excited to take you guys in there with me. I haven't been at this store in a hot minute, so I'm hoping they have some really good stuff. I, I've always found really good stuff here in the past, so Hopefully this will be a repeat of that. But if you guys love thrifting, you love thrift hauls, vlogs, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button for notifications. I do post videos every single day. So make sure you get notified when those thrifting videos do go up. And don't forget to check me out too on It's Hadrian for more behind the scenes thrifting action on Instagram. And check out itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. And if you guys are watching this video in June, for the whole month of June, I'm giving 10% off your entire purchase. Just DM me or comment on the item and I will lower the price for you. Just let you like, so like let me know that you saw this offer on YouTube and also if you're watching this before June 13 there's free shipping which is amazing so let's go inside the store and check it out I hope we can find some treasures and I'm like crossing my fingers let's go oh they have the industrial fan on because it's super hot in here Whew, I feel like the AC is broken but check out this what is this bag right here oh, wow it's like a pleather, but like the design is really cool. Dooney and Burke. Is that really only $2.99? Is this made? BCBG. A lucky brand. This is a very like summery. How much is this going for? $7.99. This one's a maybe. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, look at this map bag. Pegasus. This is kind of cute. $30 though. So pricey. Why oh, so expensive? It's right next to this little dooney, which looks like it might be something right now, but it has the bubbling in it, so it's gonna leave that. This is so cool though. I found that map on eBay. Also 30 bucks. The map, the map bag on eBay, so it's like 30 bucks. I'm just going through. The rest of these goodies, there's a Franco Sarto down there. Cosa Bella. Almost thought those were Birkenstocks for a hot second. Let's check out the furniture. And they left a bunch of handbags there too. Let's check out what the handbags are. Kenneth Cole. Pepsi Johnson. Don't know what that is. Oh, the Kardashian collection? Wow. <laughs> oh, look at these little white chairs. These are actually super cute. But $25 isn't too cute. But they're new from Target. Oh, there's a glass case thing. Little table. Plastic dining chair white. Oh wait, time out carpets. Ooh, this looks kind of pretty. Oh, that is very pretty, but I have nowhere to put it. Oh, more carpets. Oh, a nautical themed thing in my bobber. Very stained though. Um, this is like an outdoor rug. What is that one? I'm looking for like a, a runner type piece to go in the kitchen, but I don't think any of those are going to fit the bill for that. So I'm just going to keep looking. Oh, this is so cute. I love this color combination. It's so like Ralph Lauren-y. Oh, these are from Target. This is $35. Oh, this is a kind of like a cool console table. $70 though. 
pretty nice, I do have to say. Looking through the art, whoa, that's like 3D. Oh, it's making me dizzy staring at it. <gasps> Stop, how cute is he? Oh. This moss wreath is actually kind of cute. $25. Alright, you guys. Time for the plates. Ooh, these are plastic. I want to get like a good set of like outdoor plates. That are like these. How much are these? $1.99 each. One, two. Three. Oh, there's only five. Yeah, that's a shame. I wish there was like a more complete set. That would be actually perfect. These are cute. Stop and smell the flowers. Ooh, it's pretty warm in here like <laughs> I think it's like a good like I don't know maybe 90 degrees in here but I'm like I can't really gauge the temperature but it's very warm I think I'm like sweating which is kind of gross so, sorry if that's a little TMI but it's pretty hot especially the further back you go into the store This is cute. Real home dishwasher safe from $7.99. This little container is cool too. Made in Italy. Checking to see if there's anything like, um, like Pottery Barn or Williams Sonoma, Le Creuset. Pampered Chef, Crate and Barrel, Sur La Table. Oh, seasonal decor. Let's go around here. Just around the river bend. Let's take a look at the glassware. Oh, is this. I think this is Princess House, right? I think so. $3.99. She leaves a little sparkle every- is this Kate Spade? So, no. You guys, I found the mugs! <laughs> okay, I have to be very, like, discerning when it comes to the mugs. I can't go crazy anymore. So I just got rid of a bunch of them. And I can't, like, fill up Oh, uh, this is really pretty. This is a Starbucks mug. Look at that. It's like metallic y. It's only 99 cents. I think I might get this. Oh, stop. Is that an anthropology mug? And it's also a J for John. Uh, and it still has a sticker on it. Yes. Just when I said I had to like be discerning about the mugs that I get. Of course this would happen to me, Hater, you're making a fool of yourself by buying all these mugs again after you told everyone that you're not supposed to buy any more mugs. But, I have to be strong. But I also have to get these mugs, so. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's see what else they have. Grayson. This looks like the Partridge. Oh, that's Orla Keeley for Target. Oh, she's fancy. Dishwasher safe. Porcelain. I just found a couple more of those Orla Keeley mugs. But we're not going to get those because we don't collect those. And I can't come home with too many mugs. <laughs> oh, do your best. How cute is this? Molly and Hatch. Who's Molly and Hatch?
I think I've just died and gone to heaven. Is this plastic or glass? I can't tell if it's like really thin glass. I need two hands for this. Okay, I think it was plastic, so I'm not gonna get it. This is cute for spices. Portnum and Fortnum and Mason, Piccadilly, London, England. This is cute. You can put your teas in there. Definitely don't need that though, but it's really. Oh uh, wait, do I need this though? Oh, think of all the things I can put in here. This is like a bird feeder from IKEA. For toothbrushes. This is cool. It has like monstera leaves on it. Are you serious? From Z Gallery. Oh, it's thirteen dollars. It's so expensive, but it's so cute. Why are you doing this to me, Goodwill? All this cute stuff. What is this? Pen pending. Oh, this is cute too. Coventry has like Paris on it. Why? So many cute things. I want it all. Oh, this is nice. Cherry? Can you imagine like a cool like fern growing inside of there? This is cool. It kind of goes with like my like paper bag thing. Like paper bag base. But it's not like too paper baggy, so I think I'm gonna leave it. Oh, this is Zach's favorite. You guys, how pretty is this? I don't know how much it is. $6.99. It's pretty. Ooh, it's like a, oh, an apple peeler. A mirror. Oh, for plates. I'm checking through the shoes really quick. If we can find anything cool. Airborne, Skechers, Jordans? I think I just found some Donald J. Pliner shoes. These are cool. Alligator? These are way cooler. These burger vans. I'm gonna get these for John. <laughs> All right, you guys, how do I look in these? I kind of like them. <laughs> I'm gonna try on these burger vans. They're so cute. I think these will fit. Yeah, these are gonna fit. But anyway, check these out. I found some Ferragamos. Yes. Do they make my foot look skinny? They're huge, but I really like these a lot, these Donald J. Pliners. They're like my like quintessential old man shoes. So cute. You guys, I'm dying. They have like all these different lip smackers. They even have like the Christmas mini. I like the Cheshire Cat too. But I have to get Maleficent. She's the most fabulous. <laughs> oh, I really, really want Ursula. Is there an Ursula one? Hey guys, we just got out of the store. It was so hot. So I'm so sorry I didn't really film too much in there because I was just trying to like go in, get out. But let's go home and I'll show you guys what I got. Hey guys, okay, it's a few days later and we're back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I ended up getting. So, I, <laughs> it was so hot inside that store. It, um, at one point I heard a couple of the people working there talking in the back and there were these two ladies and she was like, yeah, I went to a thermostat and it said it was like 100 degrees inside the store. So it was boiling hot. It was warm. It was uncomfortable. They had like, fans and then they actually had like air coming out of the vents but you can feel that it was like hot air so the AC was definitely broken but um I thrifted like there was no tomorrow and I just like it just ran through this door really quick um trying not to sweat all over everything <laughs> but I ended up finding some pretty good stuff still regardless so I'm really excited to share with you guys what I ended up getting um let me start off actually I got some stuff for the dogs um I saw like this bag of cowhide chips and Peanut and Liza love these things. 
Uh, this was only $6.99. They were originally $12 at Target. So this is like Boots and Barkley. They have these at Target. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going to give some of these right now to them after I finish filming this video. They're going to have so much fun chewing on those. Um, and then I also got these Flea and Tick Drops. Because, you know, you never know. So um, I always like to give these to them. And I usually just get them from Costco. But, I mean, they were $5.99 as opposed to $20 um, each. So I got a set for each of them. So there's that. And then, oh, okay, so at the register, they had these little lip smackers, and I had to get them. I know they were like $3, and I think they're like $5 at the, at the store normally, but I'm like, these are so cute. So I've never seen Maleficent ever, and I'm hoping she's like grape scented or like flavored, because I think that would be, oh, it's blackberry. <gasps> Ooh, I really want to find Ursula. Cause I feel like she would probably be grape. And grape is like my favorite flavor for like these kinds of things. I don't know, I'm weird. But um so excited. Er, I love Maleficent. She's my favorite. So Maleficent and Ursula. Okay, so then up next, I I've been talking about not getting any more mugs because I just cleaned out my mugs. But I found some really cool ones that I couldn't let go of or not pass up. And one of them is this really cool Starbucks mug, and it has, okay, if you look at it carefully, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it has like this oil slick kind of like appearance, it has kind of like a holographic, it has like holographic properties to it, and it's so cool. I really like it, I don't know. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Is this just my imagination? Oh my gosh! It's a mood ring cup! It's not my imagination. What are these things? Are they... Is it? I think it is. Hold on, I'm gonna warm it up with my hands and see what happens. It's definitely changing, or I'm going crazy. But it's so cool, I don't care. It was 99 cents, so um, um, I'm very happy. I love this mug. I'm, I'm definitely going to be using it tonight. So, there's that. Then, okay. Anthropology, come on. Like, I have to. Jay, John, had to get it. I mean, it's pink, but whatever. Who cares? It's a mug. And it still has the original sticker on it, too, from Anthropology as well. Which is awesome. So, this guy was... Oh, 99 cents in the inside, so. Good price. Oh. I got this blue and white base to add to my blue and white base collection. It's really pretty. I feel like this was also from Anthropology. I think it is. I don't know. I'm probably just making it up in my head. But, um, it's so cute. It's going to be really pretty with, like, I, I'm thinking peonies. That's all I'm thinking about right now at the moment are peonies. I think they're so pretty. I'm actually going to go tomorrow to <laughs> Trader Joe's to see if I can pick some up. And hopefully they still have some because my last peonies just died and I just... Had to throw them in the trash and I was so sad. So hopefully they have more and I can put them inside this face. And if you guys don't know, Trader Joe's is like the best place to buy fresh flowers. It's so amazing and they're so well priced too, I think. Um, okay, so then they brought these out and I was like about to pay at the register. And I was just like waiting in line. And this is a little fossil wallet. I really like the print. It's like so kind of like vintage looking. It's really cool. Um... Dreams come true, California. I just thought it was really fun and had to get it. This guy was $2.99. So, really, really cute. Then they had this really nice coach like bag. Really, like, it's like rectangular, has a shoulder strap. Beautiful. You can actually attach a crossbody strap to this if you wanted it because you can attach them to um, the handle right there. And this guy was $15, so really, really cute, right? It has kind of like a Vachetta kind of leather, and then it has like the red and brown um, coach monogram right there. So that's really nice. Then up next, I have this Michael Kors little shoulder bag. This one is really 
cute as well. This one was $14.99. I love like this snake embossed leather. It's super soft. Top flap opens. And then, oh, there's the key fob. It's just nice. It has a zipper pocket, two open pockets, and it still has, it has another pocket here that's inside the top flap as well, which I think is really nice. And then the back also has a pocket, so it has tons of compartments, has a tassel, has a dongle. It has everything that you may ever want or need. So it's really, really cute. I really, really like this bag a lot. And then up next, this one I was really excited to find because I haven't found um, a vintage coach in quite some time. But found one, brown, vintage brown coach bag made in USA. Um, in pretty good condition, just needs a little bit of conditioning, especially around the corners. And brass hardware still has a strap too and the dongle so really really great and this one was like ten dollars great price so that rounds out today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i had a blast um even though it was really hot inside that store but that was that was in the past totally the next time i go over there the air conditioning will be fixed and it won't be 100 degrees inside. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite item was that we found. And if you guys have found anything really cool recently as well, let me know because I love hearing about all your great finds because you guys find some amazing stuff as well. So when I can't go thrifting, I live vicariously through you guys. And don't forget to check out today's vlog. It goes up at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in our new thrifting video, bright and early tomorrow at 7. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys then. Bye. Let's get